You have to do what you can to help the earth. Save our future! Save our future! How long do we have until the Earth is, like, dead? Our world is not going to end anytime soon. I think one of the prevailing misconceptions is that after 10 years, everything is going to collapse. It's really important that we don't think that way. After 10 years, life will still go on and there will still be plants and animals and humans on this planet, but climate change can make our world a lot more difficult for people that have less, for people that are underserved, and for our younger generations, even if it doesn't end our civilization and humanity as we know it, it could really, really hurt non-human civilizations, coral reefs and other systems that we really depend on. I would want to know how, 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 like, how we could make it, like, how we can make the Earth a better place, like, even in an even better way, like, not other than just, like, like, stop polluting. Climate change is not just about climate change. Climate change is about making sure that all people have equal opportunities and access to basic needs and to be able to thrive. Climate change is a problem about equity. It's a problem about race. It's a problem about how we relate to one another. And so I think this climate crisis actually might provide us with an opportunity in a weird way to make the world the way that we want it to be, not just avoid catastrophe. We can actually craft something better. How are you making your work more inclusive to um, indigenous people, people of color, working people? This has always been an issue for every kind of science, and nowhere, perhaps, is that more important than issues of climate and global environmental change. You bring up a good point about indigenous populations. Their voices are now increasingly being heard on the latest reports by the UN Environment Program on the Arctic, for example. Indigenous populations within the Arctic were considered, right? We think of the Arctic as this snow-capped, beautiful, pristine place, and it is, but it has people and animals in it, and we need to consider that, and we have been now more so. Could we do it better? Yes, we absolutely need to. Sometimes me and my friends just feel a little powerless when it comes to climate change, because it seems like such a big issue that we don't really know if we can do anything about it. So knowing like what tangible, impactful stuff that people my age can do would be really cool to learn from a scientist's perspective. The first thing I'll say is that young people are doing far more than actually most, most climate scientists have been able to do about this problem. The fact that one young girl started a movement to get a million people around the world out onto the street talking about climate change is more than we've been able to do in the last several decades. And there are individual actions that we can take at home to reflect our values and our concern for the environment. We could live less energy-intensive lifestyles, we can fly less, we can recycle more, we can stop wasting food and potentially switch our diets. But if we want to address this climate change problem as fast as possible, we need to think beyond ourselves as individuals. And that means that we need to talk to our parents and talk to our families about making sure that we elect people to office that care about this problem and that we hold all of our elected officials accountable. And that's hard to do when you can't vote, but you know people who can vote and you can talk to those people. And I think that that in and of itself would be a huge step forward to tackle this problem. I would ask them if they could join, join the fight. We need you to be here. We need you to be fighting because the research aspect, the climate science is so important and I'm really, really passionate about it, but it has to become in conjunction with policy. You need money behind it, you need the government behind it, you need the people behind it. So you need to be here and advocating for the cause because it's not just about the facts. Anaya, you are so right. 
And I think climate scientists understand that now in a way that most maybe didn't back several decades ago. And I will say that even several decades ago, climate scientists were talking to Congress to try to get them to act. I'm a fairly young climate scientist and a lot of my peers, we try to march all the time because we understand that you are so right. This is not a problem of climate science. This is a problem of climate policy and it's a problem of conviction within our governments. And so at least I can promise you that myself and my friends will be out marching with you from now on.